Welcome back. Today we're exposing just how much someone can learn about you with only your phone number. Your number is more than a contact. It's a digital key that can unlock a shocking amount of personal info. Forget Hollywood hacking. This is about free public tools anyone can use. We'll walk through 10 powerful OSINT tools and methods that start with just a phone number. The goal? Show you how exposed you really are and how to lock things down. By the end, you'll know your digital footprint and how to protect it. Let's dive in. First up, TrueCaller, a caller ID app that's really a global crowdsourced phone book. It aims to identify unknown numbers and block spam calls, but its functionality comes at a cost. When you install it, you often give up your contacts, granting the app access to your entire address book. This feeds a massive database, creating a searchable directory of phone numbers and associated names. It's a trade-off, convenience for potential privacy risks. Anyone can enter a number into TrueCaller's search bar and instantly get a name, photo, email, and other details if available. This ease of access can be a double-edged sword, or even your carrier. This information, while seemingly innocuous, can be pieced together to create a more complete profile. For hackers, this is the first thread to pull, a starting point for gathering more sensitive information. Names and photos lead to social media profiles providing access to even more personal data. These profiles can then be used to find emails and check for potential data breaches. With just a few details gathered from TrueCaller, they can craft convincing phishing attempts, making them much more likely to succeed. They can impersonate your carrier or bank with alarming accuracy, increasing the chances you'll fall for the scam. The scary part? Your info might be there even if you never use the app. You might be surprised to find your information exposed. Just because someone you know did. Your friends and family might have unknowingly shared your data. Our privacy is tied to the choices of others, creating a complex web of interconnected data. So what can you do to protect yourself from these potential privacy invasions? Lock down your true caller privacy settings if you use it, limiting the amount of information you share. Even better, go to their website and unlist your number from their database. This is a more proactive approach to safeguarding your information. This removes you from public search, making it harder for strangers to find your details and makes you harder to find, adding an extra layer of protection against unwanted attention. It's a simple but crucial step in reclaiming your digital privacy. Remember, your data is only as private as your weakest link, and TrueCaller can be a significant vulnerability. Don't let someone else's convenience become your vulnerability. Take action to protect yourself. Take control, opt out, and limit what's visible to minimize your digital footprint. The less you share, the safer you are in today's interconnected world. Let's move to the next tool and explore more ways to safeguard your personal information. Next up, we have NumLookup, a tool that's become increasingly popular for those seeking information tied to a phone number. It's easily accessible online, and its interface is designed for quick and straightforward searches. This is a web tool that actively pulls data from a multitude of sources, casting a wide net to gather as much information as possible. It starts with public records, those documents and databases that are legally accessible to anyone. Then it taps into data brokers, those companies whose primary business is collecting and selling personal information. And perhaps most invasively, it scrapes social media platforms for any publicly available data. This combination creates a surprisingly comprehensive profile. Simply enter a phone number into the search bar and you might get a wealth of information. This could include the name associated with the number, the carrier providing the phone service, the line type, whether it's a mobile phone or a landline, and even a general geographic location like the city or state where the phone is registered. The searches are conducted anonymously, so the person being searched never receives a notification or knows their number was looked up. This makes it a goldmine for building a detailed profile on someone. Each seemingly small detail can lead to the next piece of the puzzle, creating a chain of information. If the number is identified as a VoIP number, there's a higher chance it could be a burner phone, often used for temporary or anonymous communication. Conversely, a landline could potentially indicate a fixed address, providing a more stable location. So, what's the best defense against this kind of information gathering? It starts with limiting where you post your phone number online. Avoid including it in public bios on social media platforms, online forums, or on various websites. The less personal information you share publicly, the less effective these tools will be in finding and compiling data about you. Remember, every public mention of your phone number, no matter how small it seems, is a potential data point that can be collected and used to build a profile. 
So be stingy and selective about who you share your number with and where you post it. Now let's delve deeper and see how social media platforms can make things even riskier when it comes to protecting your privacy. Dumb. Sync.me is an application that aggregates and links phone numbers. It's designed to identify unknown callers, but it also compiles a vast database of user information. It connects these phone numbers to social media profiles across various platforms, including Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. This creates a bridge between your phone number and your online presence. The app then displays names, photos, and other publicly available information associated with the number. It essentially enriches your contact list with data scraped from the internet. In some cases, it even reveals job titles and professional details, offering a glimpse into a person's career. This level of detail can be surprisingly revealing. Simply enter a phone number into the search bar and you might instantly see a face, a name, and an entire online identity materialize before your eyes. It's a quick way to put a face to an unknown number. This bridges the gap between anonymous digits and a real person, making it easier to identify callers and connect with people. However, it also presents significant privacy concerns. Unfortunately, hackers and cyber criminals can exploit this information for malicious purposes. They can use this data to craft hyper-personalized phishing attacks, making their scams far more convincing. By knowing your friends, your interests, and even your recent travel destinations, they can tailor their attacks to exploit your vulnerabilities. Even spam reports, which are meant to protect you, can inadvertently reveal whether a number is a disposable burner phone or a primary contact used for important communications. To protect yourself from these potential threats, you should request removal of your information from sync.me quote s website. This is a crucial first step. But more importantly, and perhaps more effectively, you need to lock down your social media privacy settings across all platforms. Specifically, disable the option that allows people to find you using your phone number. Don't let your digital and real-world identities fuse together so easily. Maintain a clear separation to protect your privacy. Every privacy setting you tighten acts as a barrier making it more difficult for attackers to gather information and target you. Take action now to secure your online presence and protect your personal information. Next, let's delve into a tool that takes surveillance to a new level, a tool that listens in, quite literally. Spy Dialer lets you hear a number's voicemail greeting without the phone ever ringing. You might hear a full name, voice, or even a company name. That's instant confirmation of identity, workplace, or more. It can also pull names and addresses from public records. All this and the target never knows. Your voicemail greeting could be giving away more than you think. The fix? Make your greeting generic, no names, no company info. You've reached this number. Please leave a message is all you need. You can't stop the lookup, but you can control what's revealed. Be vague, not specific. Every detail you hide is one less clue for an attacker. Let's zoom out to see how all these tools connect. Enter the OSINT framework. The OSINT framework is a master list a mind map of every major OSINT tool. Click telephone number and you'll see dozens of lookup analysis and social search tools. Investigators use it to chain together searches, start with a name, find social profiles, check for breaches, and more. It's a blueprint for building a complete profile from scratch. For defenders, it's a peek at the attacker's playbook. Explore the framework to see how your data could be targeted, then work backward. Lock down each point of exposure. Knowing the tools is the first step. To beating them. Stay one step ahead. Next, let's see how your number can surface in unexpected places. Social Searcher is up. Social Searcher scans social networks, forums, and blogs for public mentions of your number. Maybe you posted it on Craigslist, a forum, or tweeted it to customer service years ago. Hackers use these breadcrumbs to learn your hobbies, tech habits, or vulnerabilities. The tool even shows analytics, where your number appears, who's posting it, and the sentiment. The lesson, never post your number publicly, anywhere. Once it's out there, it's nearly impossible to erase. Treat your number like your home address, private, not public. Next, let's get technical with Phone and Foga. Phone and Foga is a command line tool for deep phone number analysis. It checks validity, country, carrier, and scans for links to social media, leaks, or spam reports. It automates dozens of checks in one go, building a detailed report fast. For hackers, it's a huge time saver quickly revealing if a number is real or a burner. The takeaway advanced tools are free and easy to use. Minimize your public digital footprint, because these tools are only getting stronger. 
Don't make it easy for someone to build a dossier on you. Next, let's see how Facebook can still be a goldmine. Here's how. Facebook still lets people find you by phone number if your settings are loose. Enter a number in the search bar if the user never changed defaults. Their profile pops up. Even if not, the forgot password trick can reveal a redacted name and profile photo. That's often enough to confirm identity and unlock a trove of info, friends, photos, check-ins. The fix change. Who can look you up using the phone number you provided? To only me. This closes a major backdoor to your personal info. Don't let a simple setting expose your entire social graph. Take five minutes and lock it down. Now let's talk about data brokers. Been verified as a data broker. Enter a number and you get a teaser report, name, age, location, maybe relatives. Even the free preview can confirm leads or suggest new ones. If it finds nothing, that's a clue too. It might be a burner or VoIP number. Data brokers scrape billions of records, so opt out wherever you can. It's tedious, but it makes you a harder target. The less data they have, the less they can sell or leak. Take the time to remove yourself from these databases. Now let's see how Google ties it all together. Google is the ultimate OSINT tool. Search your number in quotes to find old posts, business listings, PDFs, or leaks. Use advanced operators, file type, PDF, site, LinkedIn.com, and more. Google can reveal forgotten data, hobbies, or even breached info. It's both the first clue and the final check in any investigation. Before posting your number anywhere, Google it yourself. If you find it in places you don't want, work to get it removed. Your Google results are your public face. Keep them clean. Now let's wrap up with how to lock down your digital key. Here's your action plan. Your phone number is a thread. Pull it and your whole digital life can unravel. Limit its public exposure. Don't post it online and use a secondary number for forms or temporary contacts. Regularly review privacy settings on all accounts. Restrict who can find you by number. Be proactive, not reactive. Remember, these tools are for education. Never use them to invade someone's privacy. Always act ethically and legally. If this helped, like subscribe and share with someone who needs to see it. Stay safe out there.